Hey everybody, this is Mike with the One Stop Co-op Shop, and I'm looking at one that Colin covered several years back, but it came out with a new addition. This is Apex Theropod, the deck building dinosaur game. And quick disclaimer that I was sent a review copy of this. I'm a big fan of deck builders. I like me some dinosaurs. How do the two mesh together? We're gonna see in a solo playthrough here. We're gonna do our normal thing, go through an overview of how the game plays, do the full playthrough, and I have a separate review video if you wanna hear my thoughts on the solo play overall. And if you like what you see here on the One Stop Co-op Shop, please join the conversation on our Discord, check out our live content on our separate streaming channel, listen to our podcast every week, and consider supporting us on Patreon for early access to our videos and some other great perks. So to get into an overview of the game, let's angle things out for a second. So first you have the main board here. And the three most important things here are, first of all, the environment deck. This is both going to have a special effect each round, but it's also the game's timer. And this deck also acts as one of the main ways of modifying difficulty because you have these emergence cards, which basically give you a free turn without any really uh, negative things happening to you. And you can include from zero to three of these at the top of the deck, which will give you more rounds overall to defeat the boss, which is your main goal in the game but will also give you easier rounds to build your deck up because again, this is a deck builder. So we're going with two here, which is sort of standard difficulty. I do find solo pretty tough. So I almost wanted to do three, but let's make it a little challenging. One of the other important elements on the main board is the game trail and the hunt deck. So cards are gonna be dealt into these spaces every round. And these will both be the enemies we have to face that'll kind of hassle us, but it'll also be the dinosaurs we can eat and kill to get the evolve points we need to level up our deck. So by defeating the uh, dinosaurs and things in here, we can get the points we need to get stronger. And speaking of getting stronger, one of the main ways is through evolve cards, which are gonna come out here. And this is a generic deck that's used no matter what type of dinosaur you need. You'll see in a second what gets differentiated and you unique for each dinosaur, but here these are always going to be the same types of cards, and you can buy those after you defeat some of these hunt cards. Moving over to the other main board in the game and the rest of the components, this is the player board. We've got our draw deck, which starts with a mix of weak little dinosaurs to fight with, and some carcasses that give us free evolve points. And then I mentioned there was a more unique element of deck building that comes from the Apex deck. This is based on whichever dinosaur you choose. In this case, I polled our Patreon supporters about what type of battle they wanted, and they voted overwhelmingly for me being a small dinosaur, like a big swarm of dinosaurs, taking on something huge. I've gone for the Utah Raptors, which are classified as a hard dinosaur to play. There are four levels of difficulty, and this is the third hardest. But the boss I picked is just moderately hard. And I'm not saying what his name is because it's a really long, complicated, name that I think starts with C and I don't remember. But to go over the basics of how a round runs, first you flip over one of those environment cards. Then if you draw an alert card, you're going to get these as you make choices in the game. Basically, uh, you have to discard all the cards in your ambush point, and some dinosaurs in the game tray will have negative effects like running away because you made too much noise. Then you can set an ambush, a really cool mechanic. If you have some cards you don't want to use this round, you can instead put them in the ambush point and usually take an alert card. So it kind of like saves cards to have a bigger round next turn, but at the cost of potentially losing them if you wait too long. Then you can play evolve cards for bonuses. You can hunt and attack people in the game trail. You can buy cards with the uh, food you've accrued. You can play any other cards, and then it's the end of the round. It's uh, pretty straightforward. And just to show you the two main resources that come in your starting deck, so you're gonna have your actual apex cards, which are mainly dinosaurs. You start with mostly hatchlings that have kind of this combat value to attack uh, dinosaurs in the game trail, just uh, one for these. And the other main resource is evolve points. Here you've got some from carcasses, but again, you'll get them from attacking dinosaurs on the game trail. And these are used to buy cards in either your apex deck or the evolve deck. And just to show what that looks like, here's a card from the apex deck, again, unique to the Utah Raptor that I chose. Uh, this costs three evolve points to buy, but first you have to get it in your hatchery. Uh, cards like eggs are going to help you do that. You'll see that as we play. And then they'll also generally have combat points, but also some other kind of special ability usually. So you lose the game if time runs out completely, if you haven't defeated the boss by the time you run out of environment cards. And you win the game by fighting the boss. You'll see them when they come out. And each time they come out, because they're just hiding in the hunt deck, you have the choice to basically run away from them or fight them. And if you can fight them in several rounds of brutal combat, then you win the game. But uh, if they get away or defeat you too much, then you lose. You'll see how it all works as we jump into it. So let's do the playthrough. So first at the start of the game and at the end of each round, I'm gonna draw up to six cards and you'll always play all your cards at the end of the round so you'll never have any left. 
And in this case, I've gotten a couple of Apex cards, a juvenile with two combat points. So that's three I've got to spare. I've got three basic prey carcasses. I can eat them for one evolve point each. So I've got three spending power. And then finally the egg, you only start with one, but you can get more from the evolve deck. Very important. This hatches a card. That is the only way you can get these Apex cards into the hatchery to actually be able to buy them with your evolve points. So unlike a lot of deck builders, they're not just sitting there in a market available. You have to actually hatch the egg to uh, get it into your deck. And a nice thing is they let you draw a replacement card so they never clog up your deck even if you buy a bunch of them. And with the Utah Raptors, they have a bunch of very cheap cards in their Apex deck. So I want a lot of eggs. Bigger dinosaur species where they have just a few cards but they cost a ton. You can get away with just like one or two eggs in your deck. But Utah Raptors, we're going to want to get some more. Okay, now to actually start the round, we're going to flip our first environment card. And like I mentioned, I chose to have two of these uh, easier emergence cards. And these have the same effect. I'm going to hatch a card for free, so I'll have one to potentially buy. I get to draw a seventh card. And then it says ambush cards are not activated and boss cards are immediately recycled to the bottom of the deck. Basically, those are powers that could hurt me as cards come out of this hunt deck, especially if the boss shows up. So in this case, I'm going to be completely protected from all that kind of stuff. So let's see who's showing up on the game trail. We've got the Nigersaurus. And yeah, I'm probably just not going to say these names because <laughs> I'm sure it would be embarrassing. But to show how combat cards work, this is the amount of combat points I need to spend to defeat this guy. That's probably not going to happen. And then he goes into my horde waiting until I want to eat him. His carcass just kind of sits there and I'll get six evolve points when I do. And a lot of cards will have a hunt power, which basically hurts you when you try to take them down. It's a negative consequence of attacking them. Next, we have the boss. Okay, now I can say the name. Oh my gosh. Karchar Dune Tosaurus. Karchar Dune Tosaurus. Is that Odon? Karchar Odonosaurus. Dontosaurus. Yes. Look at him. He is mighty. And this stuff down here will not matter until I actually choose to stand and fight him and try to win the game. But this is how much health he has. I'm going to draw cards whenever I can inflict an affliction card on him by dealing. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> and uh, whenever I do that, it'll have a damage value. I have to get four damage on him or more to kill him. And basically, the more combat points you play in a given turn, the better the result you have. Uh, if I can get 15 or more, I do two damage cards to him and none to myself. You'll see all that in action. But because he came out with this emergency turn he just goes to the bottom of the deck it's called recycling get out of here okay now we got to try ceratops another very tough guy to take down i'm not gonna be able to get any of these people oh there we go that's more my speed it's a gluminous gluminous <laughs> two combat uh two food and only an alert power which means uh, i'm not gonna get hurt at all when i attack him he's a weenie Ooh, and another one I can go for is Sekernosaur. So three combat and two evolve. Excellent. And at the end of each round, the rightmost remaining card is going to go away from both this and the evolve row, and then we'll fill back in. So you won't see as many new cards each round like we did here. Uh, this is a very important one. Dynamic Vitality. We're going to get these Affliction cards in our deck, like a lot of deck builders, these damage cards that kind of clog things up. And this is the only major way to get rid of those. It lets you draw a replacement card and then eliminate, that's basically culling from your deck, up to two affliction cards. And this could be in your hand or your play area or your discard pile. Amazing card, although it being on the right means it'll be gone quickly. Okay, and then Metabolic Growth. This lets me make my hatchlings deal more damage. Some other dinosaur types, like especially the Velociraptor, likes those because they boost more than just their basic cards, but for me, I'm not sure that's worth it. Oh, this is a very good one for late game, especially Adrenal Frenzy. It lets you draw three cards, and each of them that is an Apex card, a combat card, stays in your hand. Another Metabolic Growth. Darn it, I didn't get any eggs, which is exactly what I wanted to buy, but uh, not happening in this round, at least. Hey, let's not forget, my friendly environment gave me a free hatch. This uh, Sentinel for two Evolve Points is the most common Apex card in my deck. Kind of everything else I built to combo off of it because you have more cards that you can use and you can kind of pick which ones you want to put in your deck. So it's just one combat point, but it's plus one when played from the Ambush Point, which is, again, a spot I can put some of my Apex cards, some of my combat cards if I don't want to use them in a round. And then also if I have a scout in the ambush point, they get plus one. And you'll see that basically every other dinosaur in my Apex deck combos off of them. Okay, I also get a seventh card, another hatchling. So I got a four combat to play with now. All right, so the first phase of my turn is if I had any alert cards, I would have to play them. And I mentioned it earlier, but you get these whenever you put cards in your ambush point that don't have this special free ambush symbol. And only a few cards that I could buy have that symbol. So basically every time I put up to three cards uh, into this ambush point, I'm going to get one of these. It goes into your discard pile. When it cycles back through, it takes away every card in your ambush point. So if you wait too long to ambush, then the uh, enemies hear you. And it'll also activate any alert abilities in the game trail, like letting dinosaurs run away or attack me or nasty stuff. 
But I don't have those. Next, I can set an ambush. And we saw in the game show we have a target that can take three combat and two. And I've got two, three, four. So there's a pretty good chance I'll have to waste at least one combat. Although the egg is going to give me one more card draw. So maybe I'll hold off and see if I get lucky. Okay, so now I play Evolve card. So I'll play the egg. That'll hatch a second dinosaur, which is just a basic hatchling. He costs nothing, so I could take him for free. But I don't want to clog up my deck because the Sentinels are already weak enough. So I'm not going to get that. And the egg also lets me draw a card. Come on, another hatchling. Yes. With all my evolve cards played, I get to hunt. So I've got one, two, four, five. So I can almost get the Triceratops for four evolve, but he's nasty when actually hit me back. So let's instead go for each of the easy guys. Now you have to play cards for an individual card and any overage is wasted. But in this case, I can just use my juvenile with two combat to defeat this guy. He goes to my horde with two evolve points. And if he had a hunt ability, he would hurt me back, but alert only goes off when an alert card is drawn. So I got him. And then my three hatchlings will take out our other guy. So we've got some nice evolve points saved up. And a cool thing with these cards is they hang out in your horde until you want to spend them. And then you flip them face down into your den because these are worth victory points at the end of the game if you want to kind of tally up your score. So even if you eat them, they still contribute to that. And now with all my hunting done, I can purchase cards from either my hatchery or the evolve pool. I've got three points from carcasses I might as well spend, and then I could additionally spend these uh, guys in my horde to get some more. So let's see, even though I don't need it yet, I would like to get this healing card for later, and that'll actually cycle through the evolve pool faster because another card will be taken because I want to get some eggs. So let's spend the three for Titanic Vitality. And that goes in my discard pile, which for some reason may tell you in the rules to keep face down. I think it's probably to keep your played area of face up cards and your draw pile of face down cards all clear. But then I do want this Sentinel, so let's go ahead and flip one of the two guys I attacked this turn and buy him. Also goes to the discard pile. Anything you don't buy from your hatchery gets recycled to the bottom of the deck. So get out of here, hatchling. If I had any cards left, I would have to play them now. Usually that'll be afflictions, the damage cards I've taken, but all these go to my discard pile. And I'm going to draw back up to six. I only have four cards, so I'm going to have to shuffle and draw two more. And let's see, I got some hatchlings and a bunch of carcasses. This is the one Titan carcass you start with in your deck worth three of all points. And then we cycle dinosaurs away. Bye bye you, bye bye evolve. Everything slides down and we'll fill it in after our next environment card, which is another emergence. So I'm going to get a free hatch and a free card draw. Now getting to the game trail. We have another one of these easy guys. Nice. This guy's a weak little egg thief, but he's not going to get us because ambushes don't activate when it's an emergence round. Although, honestly, for the Utah Raptors, because their cards tend to be very cheap, uh, getting these huge guys is often not worth it because you can't really spend the extra points. All right, come on, give me an egg. Oh, this is a solid one. Metabolic Transformation. It costs six, but it lets me call any one card from my hand and then draw a replacement card. So it's good to get rid of, like, the little hatchlings and get your more powerful guys going. And then Convergent Evolution. You may take an Apex card from the Elimination Pile, which some cards will eliminate your Apex cards, and add it to your hatchery and then draw a replacement card. Dang it, no eggs. I'm not loving this. So let's go ahead and draw our bonus card. Oh my gosh, I don't need this many evolve points, people. Okay, and my hatchery. Ah, Omega. Cost three, has two combat strength, and it lets me gain a Sentinel from my hatchery and add it to my hand. See, this is where it would be great to have a ton of eggs, because that Sentinel card that I got last round, I could just like get them for free with these guys straight to my hand and then attack the same turn. So a uh, nice little combo there. <laughs> Again, if I can ever get some eggs. So no Evolve cards to play, but let's go hunting. Yeah, with only three points, I'm not going to ambush or anything. This is pretty easy. Let's get this guy for two of them. This guy, for one, he does have a hunt ability, but it's only if he had stolen my egg, I would get it back. So here he's just dead and more food points for us. All right now, in terms of buying, gosh, I have so many points. I think I'm going to get this uh, culling card, try to start getting rid of like the uh, little prey carcasses. Those <laughs> are really dead cards late game uh, as you build up better. But I don't want to lose my chance at the Omega, so I'll flip the one uh, Egg Thief I just killed and this two guy to get three Evolve points. So that and the uh, six card go to my discard pile. And that's it. Another turn down. Let's see. We got four combat points. We got an egg. Nice. We got only one carcass, though, so we can't buy a lot. And then our little healing card that also lets us draw. So we should definitely be drawing into our little one point guy we bought the other turn. Okay, and our Triceratops is running away. So there's our little card to draw more Apex cards. And now the gloves are off. We do not have any more Emergence cards to keep us safe. Ambush effects will trigger. Let's see how we do. What have we got? A Tropical Storm. You begin an alert card, adding it to your hand to draw two additional cards. Now, this is an interesting choice because since I have nothing in the ambush point, having the alert card in my hand will not necessarily hurt me at all. Unless I get some negative alert effects on the game trail, which uh, tends to be them running away, which will cycle the boss to me faster and other negative cards. 
So I'm not sure that's worth it just for two extra card draw. Yeah, let's not do that for now. Okay, now we fill in the game show. We do one at a time in case uh, ambush effects trigger. Okay, none here, just a big guy to fight. Oh, and then, oh my gosh, this guy is huge. Warning, if a predator card attempts to eliminate this card, sometimes the dinosaurs in the game trail attack each other, that card is eliminated instead. <laughs> Some little guy comes and tries to eat this dude, and he just stomps upon him. And then if he gets alerted, he gains a defensive stance card, which sticks with him as long as he's in the game trail, and he just cannot hunt him. So literally, he is <laughs> one of the hardest guys to kill in the entire game. And then finally, Dilophosaurus. He's a predator, so he is coming, looks like for me. Ooh, when he ambushed me, discard one apex card on my ambush point. Luckily, I don't have any, but he makes it worse to have cards in my ambush point. I'd have to get rid of them. And uh, alert, he makes me discard cards in my hand, so I'm glad I didn't have the alert effect. He would have messed me up a bit, and this guy would have become invincible. But still no sign of the boss, and he also has a few minions that are in the deck. Ooh, yes, an egg. Thank you very... Oh my gosh, okay. Now we're in business, baby. Though, of course, this just happens to be the turn that I don't have very many carcasses. But uh, we get to do our evolve cards. I'm going to play the egg to hatch and draw. Oh, man, we hatched one of my good cards. Malevolence costs six. So this is the symbol that means I can put this in my ambush point without gaining an alert card. Infiltrate is amazing. It lets me kill one of the boss's minions for free or hurts the boss for free. And then if I play this from the ambush point, I'm going to take up to two sentinels from my hand or discard pile and play them with plus one bonus. Yikes, that's a good card. But six, not sure I'm going to get that high. And there we go. There's the Sentinel I knew I'd draw from the egg bonus. And now I could save this in case you take damage because you don't have to play cards in the given phase. You can wait until the end of the turn. But I'm going to play this to draw another card. There's another Hatchling. Okay, I do have two, three, four, five, six attack. So I can actually get one of those big guys and get Malevolence. Maybe I won't get an egg quite yet. All right, all right. So yeah, again, I have six. I could kill the Predator, but he's only worth two food because he's really just there to hassle you. Or I could get either of these five guys. Now this guy's worth more, but if I kill him, the alert effect on all Titan cards in the game trail is activated. So that means that this guy would become invincible, but I don't think I'm going to kill him anyway. And it's only Titan, so this guy wouldn't make me discard anything. So yeah, I guess I will defeat him. I'll have one card left over, but not much I can do about that. So this Titan just gets a little defense card. He cannot be hurt uh, for the entire time he's in the game trail. Okay, now purchasing cards, I'll use my five guy plus one from my carcass to get this amazing malevolence card. Gotta get more sentinels to key off of that. And then, oh, good, good. I can uh, go ahead and flip the two guy that I had left to get one of those two eggs, and I'll try to get the other one before it cycles out. All right, let's see what we have. Yeesh. Okay, I'll probably use the metabolic transformation next turn to get rid of one of my carcasses. And then the omega could get me a sentinel if any show up in my hatchery. So yeah, a bit of an odd hand, but we'll see how it goes. All right, bye-bye metabolic growth. Bye-bye, big dude. Let's see our new environment. Locust Plague. Oh, look, they're just being friendly with you. Why are you yelling? Locust swarms have consumed most of the local vegetation. Reveal the top four cards of the hunt deck and eliminate the revealed prey, big game, and titan cards. Recycle the others. Ah, they're taking away the cards that I can level up and making it that much more likely I'll fight the dang boss. All right, so four cards. Okay, a minion. Oh, he's going to go down to the bottom of the deck. This is uh, the nasty little friends of the main boss. Big game. They ate it. Ugh. Menace. That's another egg thief, so that's not too bad. I guess I can fight him. And then Prey, another easy guy. He's gone too. So these two go to the bottom. But look how thin that deck just got. Locust, what are you doing to me? All right, so here we go. Okay, there's still a nice Prey. Three. I definitely want that guy. Oh, no, and here's one of the minions. So Ambush, reveal the top card of the Affliction deck. This is the uh, little damage deck. If it is the specific card, Severe Trauma, eliminate two Apex cards in your hand. Eliminate! I mean, they'd be gone. Uh, recycle the Affliction card. So he doesn't actually hurt me. He doesn't actually go in my deck. He just might kill some of my uh, dinosaurs. So it's a big deck, and most of them are just flesh wounds. Let's hope it's not... Okay, we're safe. So this just goes to the bottom. It was not the Severe Trauma that would have totally destroyed us. All right, and Evolution... We got another Adrenal Frenzy to draw extra cards. I definitely want to get those later. And another one of those that gets uh, Apex cards back from Elimination. I don't care about that. These two, though, I'd like to buy at some point. So for the Evolve phase, let's play our Metabolic Transformation. Usually when a card says you can eliminate something, you can go for your discard pile as well. But this one is limited to your hands. So let's get rid of one of our carcasses. And I draw a replacement. Oh, and it's another carcass. <laughs> so be it. And that does mean that I have nothing in the hatchery this turn because I didn't get any eggs. So uh, I guess I'll spend these on some Evolve cards. We've got three attack, so let's get the obvious guy, uh, this one. And let's see, I've got five points. I could use the guy I just killed to get the egg and the Adrenal Frenzy, but that seems a little greedy. Let's just spend the five to get Adrenal Frenzy, and I should be able to get the egg next round. 
And again, when I play this, I reveal the top three cards of my deck, and any of them that are Apex cards, my dinosaurs, my attack cards, basically, go straight into my hand. So it's kind of like a free draw three, although it's replacing itself, so it's really like drawing two, and especially late game, when you've hopefully cleared out most of the other stuff in your deck, it's amazing. Oh man, look at this hand. I've got my crazy Malevolence card. I've got a Sentinel, so I think I can play him with Malevolence to get extra damage. I've got Adrenal Frenzy. Remember, the Infiltrate is going to straight up kill the minion that's hanging out on the uh, board right now. This is great. And an egg. Let's do this. Right, but first, uh, Big Daddy is leaving. Bye bye. So is that card. I didn't want you anyway, but the egg, I don't want to let that go away. And our new environment Meteor Strike, get out of here. Eliminate the card in Footprint 4 and add a Disaster Area card to that footprint. The remaining cards in the game trail are recycled. Discard your entire hand and draw six cards. Come on, Meteor Strike. So what this means is uh, pretty big. There are now only three spots in the game trail, so it's going to cycle much more slowly, which could be good for the boss to attack me less. By the way, this guy just got, like, hit by the Meteor. Ah, what happened? <laughs> But dang it, the minion got cycled, and I guess the card that would have killed him automatically is gone anyway, but ah, it sucked. So by the way, just to show my new hand before we probably draw the boss, I've got a three combats, my healing card, my culling card, another carcass, and an egg. But you have a feeling the big man is coming. Okay, a huntable guy. Ah, uh, there he is. So the second you draw him, you cycle everything else that's in the game trail. He's the only one. And this part I'm less clear on, but I don't think you even fill the evolve pool. I think you would decide whether to fight him or not. And now here you get the choice of either flight or fight. If you run away, the round ends immediately. You just keep the same hand you have and you immediately flip the next environment card, which means you basically lose an entire round, which is terrible. Now, if you fight him on the other hand, you get to play your evolve cards, you get to play your apex card to try to fight. And whatever your total is, is going to determine what happens. So in this case, he would eliminate two cards in my horde. So you just take away that one three card. That's not the worst thing in the end. And then the battle ends. But the nice thing after that is that you still get to play through the rest of your hand. So like he can use carcasses to buy stuff and such. So since I have some stuff to do here, I can like eliminate a card and draw extra cards and hatch some stuff. I'm going to fight him. And now very important note here on boss fights. In the original second edition rules, they said you could play evolve cards and they would have their full effects. So you could like still heal and still call and still do the cool stuff you bought those cards for. But in the Collected Edition, which I'm playing with the recent release, for some reason they changed it to saying that these would only let you draw cards and eliminate cards and nothing else. And there was no real explanation given. And the vast majority of people I've seen talking about this on BGG think that was a mistake or just stupid because it is stupid. Because it means the really cool cards you spent time buying from the Evolve deck become sometimes useless. And I think that's silly. So I'm going to play, as many people do, with the Second Edition boss rules where these cards have their full effect as normal. So with that being said, first I can uh, play this to trash a card. Let's get rid of another of our carcasses and draw a replacement card. Got another hatchling. Okay. I'll play this to draw a card, uh, even though I can't heal with it. <laughs> Got another carcass. Then I'll play the egg to hatch. Oh, another sentinel. I'd like to get that. And I also draw a card. Oh, how nice is this? It's the Omega. It's going to get me that sentinel for free. All right, now we get to combat with the boss. I have to play all my prey cards. Although if I had some in the ambush point, I could choose which ones I want to play. But here I have to use all of these. So that gets me to six. And I do get this guy added. Oh, that's right. Straight to my hand, which means I actually get to seven. Which means, huh, I'm actually doing the seven to 11. Eliminate an apex card played or gain an affliction card and the battle continues. I'm okay with uh, eliminating one of my hatchlings. So get out of here, buddy. All right, and what does the battle continues do? Let's show you. I discard all of these. I also discard any remaining cards in my hand, so I can't spend anything to buy cards. That's okay. And I draw an entirely new hand of six cards. So, interesting. I got a lot of carcasses, but definitely not much fighting capacity. And then you do it again without drawing an environment card, without recycling anything. So basically, you just keep on having these rounds of combat. And that, by the way, is how you win, because the boss does not remember damage. So I would have to get 12 to 14 or 15 plus attack to uh, get affliction cards on him and actually hurt him several rounds in a row drawing cards like this to actually win the game, which is why this guy is so tough. But this time I have no evolve cards. My combat total is only four, so I'm going to have to eliminate up to two cards in my horde and the battle ends. So he's going to eat my little uh, dinosaur I was saving, the jerk. And then because I didn't defeat him, he goes to the bottom, ready to attack me again later. But the nice thing is I still get to spend carcasses. You know, like I said, I'm not entirely sure. Maybe I'm supposed to fill this. I don't really know. Let's see what we have. Ooh, 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 rapid incubation for four. Exactly what I have. Hatch four cards. I mean, uh, although it will just be a dead card later on. Nah, you know, even though I'm wasting a bunch of uh, spending power here, I'm just going to get the A, get to hatch one. But it lets me draw a replacement card even when I'm fighting the boss. 
All right, we'll still cycle this. I think, again, the rules are a little unclear on how the boss round ends, at least to me. Let's see, I got a mix of stuff. A hatchling, an omega, carcass, an egg, adrenal frenzy, interesting, and one of my culling cards, okay. Our new environment is predation. Eliminate an egg in your hand. God, I hate you. All right, say bye-bye. <laughs> Darn it. And then who's coming out? Got a big daddy titan, needs seven to kill, and it's a hunt effect if I attack him. Triceratops, again, will also hurt me potentially if I attack him. Okay, and another big game. So at least there are people I can attack. I didn't get all the negative people out. Okay, and then Adept Tactics. This is a nice one if you want to ambush a bunch. It lets you eliminate all the alert cards in your discard pile, and then you ignore hunt effects for this round. So like the guys who would hurt me when I attack them would no longer do so. And another egg. Okay, okay. All right, so evolve cards first, I guess. Although, you know, I could save these in the ambush area and attack next turn. But the Adrenal Frenzy makes it pretty likely I'll draw some more good fighters. So uh, I'm going to do Metabolic Transformation. And I'm a little bit worried about getting rid of the carcasses because I think I'm going to run out of dinosaurs to uh, fight in the game trail pretty soon. So I'm going to actually get rid of my uh, one other hatchling. And I draw a replacement card. Oh, which is an egg. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So I will play that. I'll draw a card. And what am I hatching? Oh my gosh, Bird of Prey. Seven cost, uh, four attack, and can put it in the ambush pile for free without an alert. Gain up to three Sentinels from your discard pile and play them with this card. See, this is what I'm talking about with those Sentinel combos. I don't know if I can afford that, though. But look, I got a Sentinel, but he's just a one attack right now. It's not going to help that much. All right, well, let's try the Adrenal Frenzy. Draw three cards. And one of them is my healing card, so that gets discarded immediately. But I got my big Malevolence again and a Juvenile. I am ready to take on some of those big dudes now. So let's see, what can I do? Two. When played for the ambush point, I can take Sentinels. So I could ambush with this, although it's actually too late right now because I already played Evolve cards. So I got six, seven, nine attack power. So I guess I might as well go for the seven guy here. Hunt, reveal the top card of the Affliction deck. If it's a severe trauma, add it to your discard pile, otherwise recycle it. So a low chance he'll hurt me when I fight him. All right, so here we go. We blast that guy away, but can't afford anybody else. And do we get severely hurt? Nope, it's a virus, which is a nasty card. I'm glad that's on the bottom now. All right, with that big defeat and the carcass, that gets me exactly seven. I mean, I can't say no, can I? Let's get that in my deck. All right, let's see. I've got my infiltrate to kill a minion, so hopefully one of their big guys will come out. I've got some basic guys here. An egg, that's good. A carcass, and drawing more cards. Not a bad looking turn. I do lose the chance to heal some more. Triceratops runs away again. And we've only got a few turns left. Let's see how it goes. Blinding Agent. You have been blinded by Venom from a Dilophosaurus. That's the guy who ate a Newman in Jurassic Park, right? Discard an Apex card in your hand. I guess that's not too bad. Um, I mean, yeah, I'm not going to do either of them. So it'll be the... Oh, no, not the Omega. The Sentinel. There we go. All right, and let's see. Yep, there is one of those big boys. Okay, that's right. Reveal the top card of the Affliction deck. If it's severe trauma, I have to trash some guys. And it's not, thank God, because I would have taken away some of my best cards. Oh no, it's the egg guy! Take an egg from your hand or discard pile and place it under this card. If this card is recycled, the egg is eliminated. I don't have a discard pile right now, so... You little jerk, why you keep on coming for my eggs, people? <laughs> and another one of the uh, call and draw cards. Alright, so let's see. Before I play anything, I could uh, put this guy in my ambush point. Because then he would let me bring my Sentinels back and do a ton of damage, but... The minion is right there. Actually, well, the minion's still going to be there next turn. So, yeah, you know what? I think I will go ahead and ambush with this guy later. And since he had that symbol, I don't have to get an alert card, but I'm going to keep my Omega here. And I'll go ahead and use Adrenal Frenzy. Oh, my Titan Carcass. But I got a Hatchling and, oh my gosh, the Bird of Prey. Let me get up to three Sentinels from your discard pile and play them with this card. Okay, so Sentinels are going to get double duty in the next few rounds, but this gets discarded. So if I play this guy, I've got four attack. And my one sentinel comes out and makes it five attack. And this guy makes it seven, eight. So, huh. I could actually defeat that guy and that guy. Although then the minion will cycle. But I guess that's okay because if the next minion comes out, I have my guy in ambush ready to kill him. So sure, let's defeat both of these guys. What happens with my egg? Add it to my discard pile. Of course I can't play it this round. Let's see, I've got up to six points to spend. Could get the culling card. I feel like eggs, it might be getting a little bit too late. Maybe this culling thing so I can get to my strongest cards would be better. But I don't think I have enough yet to like really defeat the boss. Ah, uh, this is not great. Yeah, let's go ahead and get this, I don't know. And for next round, I'm pretty weak attacking, although I got another sentinel. Got a culling card, a little bit of food, an egg, and a healing, okay. And the minion is cycling back down, so is that big egg card. 
And yeah, we're almost to the end. So the last two cards of the environment deck are always the same. And they really, like, mess you up and uh, take away the cards in your hand and stuff and force you to eliminate cards, which is not great. So ideally, you want to fight the boss before that happens, but I don't know if I can fight him yet. Oh, no, I hate this card! Uh, Dionychus Den. You summon to the Den of Dionychus. Draw cards from your Affliction deck until you draw a card that is not a Flesh Wound. Place all the cards you drew in your discard pile. All right, come on, give me something bad right away. There we go, Severe Trauma. That's the one that the uh, minions kept trying to put on me. Now, the great thing is this goes in my discard pile, but I'm going to be able to get rid of it with my healing card, like, right away. So, man, that's actually great. If another minion came out, he would have given this to me instead. Yes. By the way, just to show what these uh, look like for flesh wounds, they tend to not do anything, but this one does. Look, whenever I uh, draw it and am forced to play it at the end of my turn, I would gain another affliction card, so I would keep on, like, suffering from the trauma. All right, giant guy again. Oh, no, and the other minion. Let's draw another affliction card. Yes. Oh, it's so great that that uh, guy made me draw that severe trauma. Like, fell in the Dionychus dead and missed the uh, big guy attacking me. And then, oh, there's still guys... Wait, what is... There are three cards left in here. At least one is the mini, which means the boss is definitely coming next round. And another egg, and another culling card. Because the first question is, do I want to ambush this round? I don't think I do. Because if I do, I can't use my ambush card, then I might want to play that guy to kill the minion automatically. Or maybe I want to save it to make sure I have it against the boss. I'm not sure, but let's uh, play the egg first. We're hatching a Sentinel Blitz. A three attack, cost five. When played from the ambush point, you may take all Sentinels from your hand and discard pile and play them with this card. Now the tough thing is you can't ambush once you're fighting the boss, so all these things are only gonna be good for like the first round, so uh, I'm not sure if that's worth it. Okay, now I'll go ahead and play uh, this. So let me draw a card and I can also trash that injury card I took. Get me my juvenile, okay. All right, and then I guess I'll call another carcass. Can't help me fight at all. I'll draw another hatchling. Huh, okay, so I've got one, three, four, five attack. Nine, of course, if I use Malevolence, but if I don't, I can uh, fight the boss much better. Yeah, let's see, if I don't use Malevolence right now, I'll definitely have him for the boss. And uh, if I fight with just five, I can kill this guy to get four points. But that won't be enough to buy anything great, because the eggs, you can't upgrade while you're fighting the boss. I kind of like to get the Metabolic Transformation to call cards consistently as I'm fighting. So I could instead bring out my big guy. That would let me uh, kill him. And then the Infiltrate would also defeat him automatically. Well, then I'd have a chance of getting some severe trauma, but I could probably heal it. Then I have a ton of points. I could buy, uh, like, the Metabolic Transformation. I could uh, potentially also buy the five-point thing. Yeah, what the hey, let's do it. <laughs> probably means it will die to the boss, but whatever. And because it came from the ambush point, I can play up to two sentinels from my hand or discard pile. So I've got one in my discard pile, one in my hand, but they're worth two now. So that's four, eight, nine, eleven, twelve. But the infiltrate kills this guy automatically. I do have to see if I get a severe trauma. I do not. And then, oh, I guess the twelve is kind of wasted. I don't have enough to get both of you guys, so I'll get the biggest one, of course. So I've got eight and four to spend, which means I can't get both of these. Oh, man. All right, I guess I'll just spend the eight to get this uh, five card. Uh, three more damage to attack with, even if I can't use the power, is nothing to sneeze at. I do need more damage just to kill this uh, big boss, dude. All right, now this turn could be big, because we know the boss is coming out, so got a carcass. Great start. Ah, good, I got my three attack guy. Four attack, that's seven. Nine attack, nice. Uh, more carcass, okay, not really what I want. And a one attack. I don't think that's going to be enough. Right, and this guy goes in the deck, so does that. And we know our friend is coming out. And this is good, because this is the last uh, non-automatically super negative uh, card that comes out. Maybe this is bad. What is this? Ceratopsia? Ceratopsia? Yeah. Uh, reveal six attack in your hand or eliminate two Apex cards. Well, we have, uh, what was it? Uh, nine or ten, so we're definitely fine for that. Get out of here. But, boss, boss, there he is. <laughs> there are three other cards left. Uh, which, oh, I guess means if I don't kill him here, I will have a round without him. But I don't know if that's great. All right, so let's uh, go a fight in, I guess. So I didn't say, by the way, but this card has the stomping grounds keyword, which means when I play it, I can look at the elimination pile on any of the carcasses, prey, or big game, I can take them. So basically, this like, take somebody else's kill. So, you know, I'll go ahead and get this guy that was eaten by locusts, I think, right? And now he's in my pile, if I ever get the chance to buy anything else. And this guy, you can play up to three sentinels from my discard pile. Well, too bad this guy came first, because I didn't get any sentinels in my discard pile yet. So this is seven, eight, ten. So that means I have to eliminate an apex card, played, or gain an affliction card. And the battle continues. So I'll go ahead and eliminate my hatchling instead of getting an affliction this time. Remember then, all this is discarded, including my unplayed carcasses. 
And I draw again and see if I can actually hit him this time. Okay, this is interesting. I got a, a ton of Evolve card draw, so let's see how that does for me. So I guess I'll play the eggs first to draw two more and put things in the hatchery in case I run away. I can actually upgrade. Oh, another one of the sent two Sentinel Blitzes. Come on, I need some actual Sentinels. Oh, and I got my Adrenal Frenzy and my Cull a card. Uh, I'm not hurt yet, so let's play that to draw. Okay, and I got a Hatchling. Cool, so I'll play this to Cull the Hatchling and draw. Another Hatchling. And at some point, should I actually keep those? Now, nah, nah, I'll play this to call another hatchling and draw again. And I got my Malevolence. So I got some of my best cards. And now, uh, yeah, let's play uh, my Adrenal Frenzy. This is like the best I can really do right now. I've almost got my entire deck played because it's pretty small at this point. All right, so I got a Sentinel and, ah, oh, that's a nothing. And that's a nothing. No, <laughs> I didn't get any uh, more Apex cards. Darn it. All right, so the big, big thing, the thing that might help me win here is I get an Infiltrate, which means I get to draw a card and damage the boss immediately. Ah, it's only one damage. Flesh Wound is the weakest, so I need to do three more damage in Affliction to him to actually defeat him for good. And remember, that doesn't stay around, so if he runs away, I lose it. And this only has a bonus if I play it from the Ambush Point, so that's four. And these guys have only a bonus if they play from the Ambush Point as well. So that's five, six, a seven, eight. Is that really all I've got? Oh, man. Now, that is enough to eliminate an Apex card played or gain an Affliction card, and battle continues... But ha, ha, ha. If I just keep on going through and getting to enough card draw and enough culling to keep drawing him, I'll just infiltrate him to death. So, okay. <laughs> uh, that seems like a nice sneaky Utah Raptor uh, tactic. So, sure, I will... I'll get an Affliction. I'll get an Affliction because I can heal it. So, a Flesh Wound to my discard pile. Uh, hopefully, I won't mess up my card drawing too much. And battle's continuing. Ooh, we got our Birds of Prey. We got our Sentinel Blitz. A Juvenile, that is already a lot of attack. Ooh, and Malevolence! Oh my gosh, you are going down. And Omega, and oh, my Flesh Wound, and nothing to cull it with. Come on. All right, so this is pretty good. This is pretty good. Okay, so Stomping Grounds, I can grab another one of those uh, cards for my Horde. So let's see. Let's get the Prey that's worth three. Infiltrate, I can damage him again. Another Flesh Wound. He's got two damage. I'll take it. Man, darn it. Birds of Prey only gets Sentinels from the Discard Pond. I just reshuffled, so that's not going to help. So four, seven, nine, thirteen, fifteen. Oh, you are so dead. You are so dead. This card gains two affliction cards. Okay. You already had two damage. And there is four. He is dead. And he's super dead with a fifth damage. Get out of here, Utah Raptors, for the win. So there you go. That was Apex Theropod, the deck building game. And yes, the car char Odon Tosaurus. The Karcharo Dantasaurus could not stand against the Utah Raptors and was defeated in shame. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please click on the link that just popped up if you want to check out my review of this game. Good gaming, everybody, and I'll see you at the next stop.